now that I've cut the, the toe boards out, I've got no frame of reference as to what is correct or, or what it used to be, let alone what is correct. Driving me crazy. Anyway, so in lieu of figuring that out, I've decided to work on the pedal assemblies. Here's my clutch pedal from yesteryear, and you'll notice many years ago, I'm going to say during the 70s, uh, the original dash A part number, this is C5ZZ 6501508. C, which is the Shelby part number, and it's got real heavy duty bushings, but you can see they don't stay tight. And this bushing is made of pot metal. What I ended up doing was ordering the needle bearings, the bushing needle bearing kit from National Parts Depot, because I can't have the bearing running on brass. You can see how much wear is on here. That's that's uh, once repaired and 300,000 miles later. That National Parts Depot kit comes with the shaft and the bushings and it probably comes with these too even though I already ordered a new set of these. My little nylon isolators for the uh, helper spring on the clutch pedal are broken. This one you can see is disintegrating. So this one wasn't in too bad a shape, actually. But it hadn't come completely out of there, but I'm going to replace these two. And there you have it. More stuff in the list of stuff. I picked up this Scott Drake Master Roller Bearing Repair Kit. Um, you can see I've already used the parts out of it. Basically, adding needle bearings to the pedal cradle. So now these bearing bu and bushings can be removed and replaced if necessary, but they will maintain their alignment. I don't know if this will show up. I'm going to try it. If I lay this here and put the shaft through, it looks like the shaft is crooked. But it has to be that way because this cradle sits crooked in the car. It took a little bit of goofing around to get these two metal surfaces uh, bent just right so that when these bushings go in, they are in alignment with each other so there's no binding of the bearings. Anyway, once I got it in place, I realized it's not going to stay there if I don't weld it. So I did. And now I'm working on this. Uh, this is my clutch rod, and I don't know if you can see that, but you can see brass in there. Probably 30 years ago, I pulled these out. They had excessive wear, and I brazed them. I brazed up everything. I brazed up this hole here that has too much play, and I brazed up both ends of these rods to get them so that they uh, they didn't bind. Once they start to wear funny, when they sit in the hole, they start pulling against the clip that's through here. Because they're, they're misaligned and they're no longer pushing straight, they're pushing crooked. And so then other lateral forces are being generated. So it's really important that these be parallel to each other on this shaft and these holes be machined perfectly flat so that these little nylon bushings that go in here, like so, run true and don't mess up. But you can see this one's got too much play. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing. I figured, well, I got these parts. I can have a little minor. I can have a success of uh, getting something fixed and ready to go back in. I kind of thought I might put this cradle back in before I weld the cowl in just because it's so easy to just drop it straight down in there and bolt it in. But then, do I really want the pedals in my way when I'm underneath there welding the tow board back in? Eh, I don't know. Haven't decided yet. Next update. Pedal. The pedal cradle. And my suggestion is, weld it. 
I ended up having to turn these washers in the lathe. So I had to turn those washers down because this is the Shelby bracket and the metal is thicker than the Dash A bracket. So be aware, the kit is designed for the Dash A bracket. Um, and then sort of bending the metal on the cradle until the bearings were in alignment with each other. And be aware, the cradle sits crooked in the car and then the shaft runs crooked in the cradle in order to straighten out the pedals for the driver. So when you're doing it, make sure you maintain the angles and everything. And it took a little bit of work to get it in there the right way so that everything is perfect. But indeed, it is really nice. Really, really nice. Okay, that's it for today. And it's all complete, except for the little nylon bushings. All cleaned up, I painted the pedals, painted around where I welded the bushings in. Really works great. Everything is tight. I welded up the hole and remachined it with a uh, end mill in my drill press. And I also welded up the clutch rod. You can see where I added material on there to tighten it up in the hole there. So it takes all the play out of it. It's now perfect. All that will be greased up when it goes together. And there you have it. The story of the pedals. Another small project complete. Yay!